Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis, and in this video we're talking about the Day 11 episode of Praxis Prepper Alien Invasion. We're going to talk about some of the topics and discuss... Should I redo this, or just pick it up from there? <laughs> Yeah, this is the usual spiel. You don't need to hear me say it again. We're going to talk about some of the topics and discussion points brought up in the episode. Uh, and at the very end, I'm going to share with you a sneak peek of what's happening next time on the series. And I'm just going to give you a heads up. You know, of course, all the Alien Invasion episodes, with the exception maybe of Day 6, are they're, they're totally awesome. You know, they're totally awesome. At, no, day 6 was all right, too. Day 6 was all right. Are there any really bad ones? What is your least favorite Alien Invasion episode? I'd love to hear that, what your least favorite Alien Invasion episode is. I'm not sure what mine is. Anyway, of course, they're all awesome, but you know, some are more exciting to watch than others, and the one coming up for next time, it's like there's some adventure in it and stuff like that. It's, it's different than a lot of the other ones I've done. Really excited for you guys to see that. You know, make sure you check out the clip at the end, and make sure you, you check out next time on the series, because that's a fun one. Um, so, but anyway, if you haven't even seen today's episode, the Day 11 episode, there's a link somewhere up above. You can click on it so you know what we're talking about before we talk about it. Oh, wait a moment. Okay, we'll jump right in, but first I want to thank people that have been making possible all the improved uh, quality, uh, in, well, the, the quality improvements on my channel. Not, not obviously in my verbiage or my ability to speak or anything, but just in the, you know, just in everything, you know, the higher quality shooting and all that kind of stuff. Plus this Alien Invasion series. It's made possible by people just like yourself who have gone to Patreon and for as little as a dollar per month have been, you know, keeping this whole thing floating and improving. They're also giving themselves access to a lot of pre-release material, behind the scenes material, and also uh, opportunities to uh, appear in and help to steer the, the plot of Alien Invasion as well. So, uh, you know, if you're interested in doing that, you can join all those people, get all those benefits, and also keep this whole thing going. And the, the people over the past couple weeks that have uh, jumped on board and, and helped to keep things going are uh, Chad Ball, Balvans? Ball, Ball, Balvan? I'm sorry, Chad, I'm not sure about the pronunciation of your last name but thank you very much chad uh also kevin much i, I totally got your name kevin <laughs> and uh 72 dodge 340 if that's your real name i'm not sure did your parents give you that name 72 dodge 340 am i pronouncing that properly and kenneth anyway thank you all so much and thank you to everyone who's been with the channel and with the series you know since the end of last year since we i've started this i would not be able to put in the amount of time that i put in on this channel now without the support of you guys the, the, the fact that i can get some income off of the channel allows me to take time away from my regular job. Sexy talk, this is Sebastian. Yeah, yeah, I'm very, very horny right now, and I'm, I'm not wearing anything Praxis, at all. Praxis, talk more sexy! Yeah, I know, I'm trying. Um, I, uh, I, I don't have a shirt on, and I just finished oiling my copious abdominal muscles. Uh, and, and put it in on the channel, which is more of my passion project. I really enjoy it. I really appreciate the opportunity to, to do that for you guys. If you, again, if you want to join those people and so many others who have been keeping the series going and getting access to all that stuff on Patreon, link down below. As little as a dollar a month, you can join them and get access to, you know, all that stuff. So anyway, let's talk about the topic of today's episode, which is a really important one. I know this episode, you know, it was, this was not an action adventure episode. There's a lot of talking. I know I've gotten some critiques in the past where people are, you know, have watched an alien invasion series episode and they'll say something like, it was like a how-to episode. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, I want them to be fun. I want them to be engaging and, you know, a little bit of action here and there. But if, if it's not like how-to and if you're not learning anything, it's like, what's the point of that? So, so every once in a while, you know, some, one of these episodes, it's a little bit more of, you know, you know, nuts and bolts, how to do this, how to do that kind of thing. And, and this is one of those, but it's a really, really important topic. It's water. Water is life in, in, in a crisis situation. You know, a lot of things are life in a crisis situation, but water is really up there on the list. And, uh, and it's really critical to know how to sort of marshal that resource and conserve it so that you don't have, you're not pissing through a resource that you don't have to. In this episode, I'm out and I'm pumping water from a stream and then I'm kind of going through how I, I use it as, you know, in as small of a way as possible, so I, I don't need to, to generate that much water uh, you know, from that resource. Uh, but that's something that I even do during my daily life. Now, I'm not out by streams you know, pumping up water out of the stream or anything like that. I, you know, I get it out of a well, you know, electricity pumps it. But, uh, but I do try to get as much use out of that water as possible, and I almost always get two uses out of all my water. First, when it's clean, I do one use, you know, showering, drinking, 
you know, uh, you know, cooking with or, or, or anything like that. Uh, and then I get a second use once it's dirty. Uh, and that second use is usually like flushing toilets or, you know, going out into a, green, uh, a greenhouse and watering a garden or something like that. It's pretty tricky to get up into three or four uses, <laughs> uh, you know, once you've used it once. But I would love to hear if you guys have any experience where you have gotten three or even four uses out of, uh, you know, the same water to really have that resource keep going and going. I know at our house, even with things like brushing teeth, I've replaced the trap under the bathroom sink with a big five gallon jug, which the water from the sink just dumps into. Very important to make sure that gets dumped out before it overflows, which it did once. That was pretty disgusting. Uh, but, uh, you know, even that water and the spit from brushing teeth and all that kind of stuff, that goes out into the greenhouse or I can use that to flush uh, water in the toilet and it's, I'm getting a, a second use out of it. So even during normal life, these skills are pretty easy to practice, get used to, and then if you need to use them in a crisis, it's like there's not much of a learning curve because it's like, well, been there, been doing that, no big thing. So. That's all. That's what this episode is about, is how to use water in the most efficient way possible. I would love to hear your personal stories. And if anyone has a, a, a triple or quadruple use of water, I would really love to hear that. <laughs> I'd be very, uh, very interested in hearing about that. So without any more further blabbing about that, here's a clip from next, uh, the next episode coming up, the Day 12 episode. Again, this is a fun one. I'm looking forward to this one. It's, it's different than a lot of the other ones. I, I put a little bit more time into this. And again, that is made possible by all of the wonderful people supporting the channel on Patreon. Thank you guys all very much. You guys made this possible. Thanks for watching. As a gray man, I could pass into town, come back undetected. I think I've got a pretty good shot at that. The gray man approach. The gray man approach to look like you have nothing to offer anybody. Well, be a gray man. Sounds good you're to me. Told? Yeah. Yep. You you convinced me. Okay. Um. Cool. While you're out, I'll, I'll go down in the basement and start organizing all that medicine, so that would we actually, actually know idea. what we have. I'll catalog. Okay. Everything like that. Cool. Yeah. I actually thought you were going to convince me not to do it. Now I'm feeling a little nervous about it. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.